Thank you very much, Naledi. As we were driving here, the road, uh, the sudden portion of the road is still closed because a number of roads leading to Port St. John's have uh, um, collapsed, so they are still closed while the construction workers are still working on them. Here, as you can see, uh, the people have arrived. In fact, most of the people are kept here at the youth center in Port St. John's. This is where the health department is. They are going to be offering services, healthcare services to them, and uh, the network company Vodacom is also here to donate food parcels to them. And uh, the MEC has not yet arrived, but uh, we hear that uh, the health department has been here for the past three days offering uh, services to them. But with me now is uh, the spokesperson for the health department, Mr. Mkululi Ndamasa, who will be telling us more about today's logistics. Mr. Ndamasa, thank you very much. What kind of uh, health services are you offering to these people? Uh, thank you, uh, Fundiswa, and uh, thank you for, for the opportunity. Uh, the MEC decided to, to come to Port St. John's because you remember that uh, this area was hit by the recent disaster which uh, affected a number of people. So the MEC felt that it's important to come and offer much needed health and care services to the people of, uh, of Port St. John's. So we are here offering those services which include your TB screening, your HIV screening, uh, family planning, uh, your measles, immunization and also we also offering a COVID-19 vaccination among some of the of the services that the department is offering. Of course, uh, as you did mention that uh, uh, our partners what are is here, uh, this talks to, to what the MEC has always been saying that uh, partnerships and collaborations are the way to go. So this shows that this is not only a, a government issue but a societal issue. So we would do appreciate the, the support and the partnership that we got some from the from the partners like your Vodacoms. And you'll be in two venues today. Tell us the other because we hear that you'll be moving from here to another venue. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Uh, we've got some people that are stationed here that have been accommodated, accommodated here at the health center. And just a few meters from here, there's also uh, another group that is also being accommodated uh, there. Uh, this also talks to, 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 to government's uh, commitment to ensure that uh, people are accommodated and we, we offer the, the services to the people and the support that they need since uh, this disaster happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. Also, for the past three days, how can you describe it? Uh, has the people been coming to get those services? Indeed, they've been coming, but also there's a group that's currently been staying here for ever since the disaster. But every other day, you get some people who come from town who have since gone on to... to to, to stay with their family relatives. Uh, they've also been coming in and uh, getting the, the services from the department. As you say, that uh, we've been offering the services for the, for the past couple of days. Thank you very much. Mkululinda Masa, the spokesperson for the Eastern Cape Department of Health. And uh, we've been told that uh, as well, they are also social workers who, are, who have been assisting the affected people and residents of the area with the services from social development. We are waiting for the MEC so that they can, uh, we can speak to them as to how many uh, areas will she be visiting because we hear that there are hundreds of people who have been affected by the floods here in Port St. John's Naledi.